Hello and welcome back. My name is Andre. And I'm Dominika. And we'll be back again with another reaction to John Denver with any song. Okay. Okay. It's been a while since we've done John Denver. We have done three songs already. And I always remember that there was some kind of connection between the lyrics and the nature and the way he was singing. So I'm very curious to check this one out. We did uh, read a little bit about mm -hmm. uh, the song. It was written uh, from then his wife, Annie, uh, and his love. So, um, yeah, I'm love ready to, song. Love song. I'm, I'm ready re to check it out. We're doing there. it thanks to Roland. So, thank you very, very much. We hope you're you. gonna enjoy our reaction. And it is a lyric. All right, are okay. you ready? Yes. You fill up my senses like a night in the Like the mountains in springtime, like a walk in the rain, like a storm in the desert, like a sleepy blue ocean, you fill up my senses, come fill me Let me give my life to you Let me drown in your laughter Let me die in your arms Let me lay down beside you Let me always be with you Come, let me love Come love me again. Oh wow. man. The, the, it's beautiful in the most simple form, you know. It's so pure and honest. Um the music, his voice amazing, the um the lyrics of course. Wow, it melts your heart. I think life is more beautiful when you're in love. You yeah. can create something like that, yeah, which is... That's wow. true. That's true. Wow. It's like you say, the, the words, how it, it's just... But it's the way yeah. he's singing. You so... don't even have to make <laughs> things too complicated. Yeah. Everything is so simple yes. uh, with the... Well, you know, I wish everybody who listened to this song, everybody to really experience... And have this kind of yes. love. That's oh my god, it's so beautiful, so pure, so coming from your heart, it's yeah. just, wow. Ready for some more? Oh, let me go back, sorry. Fill 
the sorry, I started to talk already. The one question I've got: Do they write songs like that these days? You know, the love songs, um, so with those kind of lyrics. I don't think so. Um, I think the love songs these days uh, contain a lot of uh, nudity and a little bit more. They're more Vulgar. sexual and physical love. Vulgarity. The, yeah. Than the actual. Um, you know what I always was drawn by then? I remember people saying us, uh, telling us in the comments that he um, he kind of chose the simple life for him and uh, for himself. And I always you know, dream about the simple life and this is oops this is kind of music that it it goes with that mm. this is a, this is exactly what a, the simple life is all about nothing is complicated you know you have a nature um he didn't disappoint he put uh, put a little bit of nature in the song for me thank you very much john Denver. <laughs> i didn't want to say you ask from the yeah. beginning it's gonna be yeah it's you always feel that he's got this He's got this cover. Somehow, you know, the nature plays a big part of his life. And I can really relate to it because for me, you know, I, I will be put me in a city and I probably like a flower without the water. I just and that's it, you know, I'm going to be. So um, I'm a massive tree hugger and I absolutely love everything to do with nature. When you put the music um, and then add to it, it's, it's even more beautiful. And I think I. I think that's what I get from him. It's just simple pleasure in life, you know, mm. and pure things. You don't have to complicate things. You don't have to make it dirty. Everything with the, you know, with the with the. I don't think back in the days things was like that. How it is now. Mm. I think that true love and I don't know. I think I, true love was it's now exists, but I. I, f I did say that before and I'm going to say it again. I feel the people were creating the music or creating whatever they were creating. There was a need within them mm -hmm. to do it. I, that's what the way you were expressing themselves. That w that's why everything you believed in. That's why this music lasts. That's why it's right. not it's not gone and forgotten. It's not one time, you know, one summer heat, like you said so very often. Because it was coming from the right place. These days, majority of music and uh, artists... Uh, the need of creating coming from a different place, not necessarily mm. from your heart. It's coming from um, as a machine, and it's it's uh, kind of pumping you to to do those things and making making uh, money and be famous and uh, recognize and and all of that. I don't even know anymore because I'm lost in the. I just world wanna. I just wanna say, uh, I think unfortunately the times we live with all this technology, with all all everything you have now on the finger. You cannot have this kind of love relationship pure because it's not possible anymore. I, I think. Oh, it's hard. It it's it's much harder to find. I don't know. We feel back in the days it was much easy to find. You connect more with the people in the real person. On a human real, level. Yeah. On a, yeah. You 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 go on a concert. You go events. You go in now. Everything even shopping. You go sh click. They come and bring your yeah. shopping. Home. You don't meet people. You don't find how you want to find someone. Or where are you gonna go find someone in a bar or something? Who you think you're gonna find probably in a all this? I'm mean, not saying people didn't meet in a bar, yeah, I know but you know, I mean, people have probably now the wrong idea of where to go to search when they feel lonely. I want, I want to look for someone. I'm, you know, I want to probably they think I want to get married. I want to, you know, I want to make. Well, where do you find a partner online? Church. Church. Yes. If you really look, but you go for church for different reasons in a way. But <laughs> that's correct. Actually, you don't want to go. That that wouldn't be honest if you but... went to church. And said, I'm looking for a husband. Hello, I'm new but to church. Th that's the thing. It's the times we live. We, I know. You know, it's everything so fast that happen. I do, everything. Yeah, I do say that we're living in a very sad times and very lonely times. Although we have a, you know. It's a it's a little bit of paradox because the, thanks to internet you kind of you can you can be transported to any part of the world really when you think about it you know we connected to so many people uh, through the reaction but thanks to internet we connected to people from all over the world yeah, that is and it's, so easy you can be in connected still, anywhere in a but still there is a lot of people and that this is sad there's a lot of people saying that the kind of the internet if it wasn't for internet I would feel very lonely mm -hmm. why we don't have this community of real people you don't have to mm -hmm. have a community it's great that this community of internet uh, exists 
but it's definitely it's like you said it's really really difficult to to go out right yeah now this and... interaction with people this yeah. is make it that we need we are people we need these kind of things you know you need to stay with someone to do you need to it's not enough just through the you know on, yeah. on the internet i mean it is but until one point until one level that's why i feel we cannot reach that kind of and it's not probably people fault because it's the times we're living in how the things are now back in the days they didn't have a choice oh i'm going online it was no that you know what i mean you, you you have to go with bus with someone in the bus you have a chat you you meet people you yeah. now you know everybody in the, i don't know was feel the times was different and that's why I create all of these kind of beautiful stories and, I also think that and we now we're rushing just, a lot these days i know it? we're just striving for these kind of things what happened mm -hmm. back in the days but I, because of i don't know yeah you're, you're right. right in a way you're rushing with everything and we're not gonna get have them anymore in, yeah. in a, and it's sad in a way and sometimes sad. we oh yeah we're blaming the new generation but what they know it's not their fault it is what it is you know mm. you have all of these now when i didn't even have a tv when i was kid we just black and white tv and then when i was a bit uh, old i mean i don't know seven eight nine then my parents have a color one few, few channels only now i kids have TV everything it was boring back in the day you, we had the, like a three channels maximum yeah, that's what at I'm the saying. beginning and tv was boring there was nothing for me there, there, and you what you're doing you go out play with the kids you have friends yeah every all neighborhood we actually, was your friend yeah you know everybody now you, you back don't know in the nobody, day, nobody we were talking about it the other day do you remember back in the day it was the biggest punishment was to when your parents say you cannot go out you're grounded you have to stay at home right. now the biggest punishment is you, that the, the parents was, saying to get out to, for the kids i they, was crying they didn't let me go know, play with the kids out. i know that i couldn't stay longer yeah but these days they crying because they cannot they, get yeah. back home you know the parents yeah. say no you stay for they say go buy bread or go out for a, yeah no. go and play ball no uh, they yeah. stay stick with the games and uh, I don't know. that's the sad part i think the sad part is that we kind of let this creep in but the, there is a, i feel there is a hope or i'm hoping there is a hope because you see more and more people kind of waking up i don't want to bring my children that way anymore you know i i wanna there is a generation of not necessarily your you know our generation and a little bit younger mm -hmm. um the the 30th that they, they said i don't i don't want that for my kids mm -hmm. i don't want i wanted something else i you know i remember my parents were telling me and this and that mm -hmm. i want to try that and i feel that um a lot of people waking up now and mm -hmm. i'm i'm so happy about it did they kind of take a take a i don't know phone away from the kids and this and you can only get it in a certain time of the day you go and play well, you... yeah i think that's good in a way but yeah, I, think... I don't think it's happened on a big uh, scale yeah, i probably but... just and another thing was we we just talk about actually was when we've been kids we had a key on the on, on the neck that's true we did go to school we come back to school now the parents from have to dr dr drop them come and pick them up from school it's even low kind of you cannot let them yeah. go how that's so crazy in a way how you can be independent how you can you know it's it's just but do you think that comes to because i i feel there are countries and countries so in some I don't know. I feel so safe here in Romania, for example. I just say I've been, I'm, I am here for almost two years and I never was stopped on the street by nobody, never was bothered by no stopped. I mean, bothered by nobody. I, I never see drunken people on the street. I never, you know, people going crazy, vandalism. These things, I don't see it on the mm -hmm. street. And I'm so sorry to say, but in the UK, you, every Friday and Saturday night, it was scary, if almost scary to go through the city center mm -hmm. um, because people were quite early, especially summertime, quite early hours, they were drinking a lot. And there was a lot of Sunday morning to go out with the dog. You had to put a muzzle because my dog is crazy. He has a big dog. He's trying to eat. There's a lot of pukes around. There was a lot of, mm -hmm. you remember? Mm -hmm. And I don't see that in here. I think it, it depends on the country and probably in, you know, in the countries whether it's not that safe anymore then mm. it's a good idea to have your parents to pick you up from school and take mm. you take you That's back the home thing, you think i don't know i i living in different countries you kind of see the difference between those countries and you see good and bad well it's so bad it's not safe anymore that's the, like, is yeah, the thing you don't understand why it's not safe for kids to go to school and come back why is not safe that's that's crazy if you think about I, it i just want to say that i'm not criticizing uh, england at all uh because that was my home for so many years and i i never felt like um mm -hmm. in any danger so i'm not saying oh my god the crime in there but 
I, now it's a compare, difference. Yeah, yeah, you can. I can see the different between um, between those things. A different in the culture, and uh, uh, that's all I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not criticizing the lifestyle. I'm just saying that I felt. I feel much safer in here. That's mm. that's for sure. On a like a daily basis. Uh, mm. So, yeah. I, I'm so sorry. We just again we diverted from the from the song. I I I did love the song so much. It was really really beautiful, and um, it's one of the songs that is going straight to your heart. That. Without any like going around and you have to find a way. No, it was like straight as straight arrow. Line. Yeah. Mm. Uh, another thing I want to say. I don't think is anyone. Uh... Loving nature more than John Denver. Yeah, I, every song have to be present something, something yeah, about something. nature. I mean, he needs to put a little. That's yeah. his spice, yeah, right? That, yes, yes, that's his drug of choice. All right, <laughs> okay. Hope you enjoy our reaction and see you again next time. Have a lovely day and all the best. Take care. Bye bye. -bye.